March of 1970, Grumman Aerospace Corporation had a big vision and implemented it fast. They wanted to see hovercraft technologies replace rail and transportation across America. They went all in and had a number of successes along the way, but ultimately their vision was just too grandiose and it was scrapped. I'm here in downtown Pueblo, Colorado, and behind me, two futuristic hover trains sit idly next to the road, looking absurdly out of place. One is a Grumman Tracked Levitation Research Vehicle, or TLRV, an air cushion transportation prototype that was built to reach speeds of up to 300 miles per hour. The hover train was intended to glide along the track without wheels on what was essentially a cushion of compressed air, which was squeezed through those tubes along the train's body then pushed downward and it eventually reached speeds of 90 miles an hour but it was evident that the public was no longer interested it was too much too fast the second vehicle was a roar aero train which is also parked here parked next to the TLRV it managed to reach speeds of 140 miles an hour but unfortunately it suffered the same fate and the urban mass transportation administration stopped all funding of all tests in the 1970s listen as a leader one of the scariest things for your people is change especially when it is audacious and groundbreaking and they learned that here However, there are some simple steps to gauge whether or not you're introducing too much too fast. As you know, you're at your best when you're on the forefront of change, but not so far ahead that you're leaving your people concerned or scratching their heads. As you step into the role or push the role of change agent, remember this. The most important thing an associational leader can do is vision cast, assuring your pastors that you can achieve what you set out to achieve on their behalf. This takes time. Inspire your staff and trusted pastors first. Let them voice their concern. And in doing so, you add quality to your vision. All of this must be saturated with prayer, together, and then new ideas will come from the many voices as you allow them to speak into your vision. Once you have the buy-in, let them take it to the rest of your people. In doing so, you may just avoid doing too much too fast and getting scrapped.